Hello, it's me, and I'm coming back at you with another challenge of this crazy 4x4 version 2. Now, as you recall, I had a previous challenge, uh, which was to solve the last four blocks like an AI puzzle. You can solve the first four blocks any way you want. You can do it layer by layer any way you want. But the last four blocks had to be like an AI solve, where all you can do is this move, this move, and this move. And that's all you could really do. Or you can do this move, this move, uh, this move, but there's no this moves or this moves. You can do that for the first four blocks. You can do any move that you want, um, but not for the last four. So far, nobody has been able to show that they've actually solved with that challenge. Well, people have said that they have, but nobody's actually shown me proof of that. To actually show proof of that, you have to either maybe post pictures or show me pictures of each step that you did or do a video, something like that. So as of yet, nobody has really officially solved that. So before I show how I did that, I have another challenge first. And that challenge is to solve this completely and thoroughly layer by layer. What I mean by that, by layer by layer, is you start off with a scrambled puzzle, and then the next step is you move to this, to this over here, where you can see that all of this is filled in, and it's the correct ones because these are filled in as well, but that's not the point there, uh, to this, to this. Now notice, uh, after filling this in, I'm filling these guys in as the next part. I haven't done these yet, because as we're doing the layer by layer, we're sequentially moving from inward out and then down. So this, this is the next, and then we fill in these guys, like this, to this. So now you can see this whole first layer is done. So we start out with this, move to these guys here, then move to these guys over here. Then the next step is you fill in the rest of this. All these will, uh, this middle part will all already be filled in just by nature filling these guys in. They're one and the same piece. So uh, then you just have these guys and it'll look like this. See, simple stuff. So this is now filled in over here and then you're gonna follow up with the next layer. And that you're gonna be moving outward also. So as you're spreading down, you're spreading to the middle and then spreading outward. So it's gonna look like this. So notice we just have these center ones in over here. So that would be the next step. This is also gonna be solved, but that comes along with solving these. And then that's followed by these guys, uh, not the edges here, but these guys here. And that'll look like this to this. So now notice, on this next layer here, after putting the centers, we then put these guys in. So these guys are put in next. So a little more challenging than you might think. Then of course, the next part or the last part of this layer would be these guys here, which would look like this to this. So now we've successfully finished this uh, third layer and then on to the fourth. Now the thing about the fourth is you already have this completely filled in. So that's done. Uh, so you're already done with this part. Now it's a matter of getting these guys in. So the next part as we're going from the bottom on up is we fill in these guys next. So that will look like this. So there you have it. Now these guys are filled in. Uh, and the next part is, you guessed it, we're going to actually do the last part, which is filling all the rest in. So these guys have to be lined up in all of these, giving you the very last step, which is, of course, until finally you get to this. So there you have it. It's actually a very fun solve because uh, when you do it once, even if you get it and you do it a second time, there's different confirmations. So it's uh, chances are not the same solve two or even three times because there's different types of parodies that happen with it. So a very fun variation. Give it a try. Okay, so actually, nobody has actually solved the challenge of uh, the first one that I gave. So let's see if you can solve the first one and the second one or either or. Uh, but in order to show me that you've done it, you must either post pictures, show me pictures or a video. So give it a try. Thanks for watching. Watching it.